It's a lady in London here, and today I want to take you on a day trip from London to Hastings. This seaside town on the south coast of England has a lot going for it, from coastal views to pubs with fish and chips, museums, shops, and more. It's a great place to get away for a day on the seaside. If you're in London, it's easy to get to Hastings by train. Direct rail services depart from stations like Charing Cross and London Bridge, and the journey takes just over an hour and 15 minutes. Once you're in Hastings, it's a quick walk from the train station to the old town. There's lots to see and do here, from funicular railways that go up to the top of steep hills, to great restaurants with fish and chips, museums, waterfront entertainment, and more. Given Hastings is known for its fishing industry and seafood, it's fun to stop for lunch along the waterfront at one of the many restaurants and cafes. Inland from the waterfront, there are beautiful streets with historic houses dating back to Tudor times. It's great to walk along them and take in the atmosphere. There are also narrow lanes and passageways called Twittons that go up the hills in Hastings. They're fun to explore and walk around. Hastings Old Town has great shops too. Everything from vintage shops to antiques shops to clothing boutiques can be found here. It's fun to spend time exploring them. There are lots of great houses and architectural details to take in on the side streets too, and it's worth spending some time walking along them and exploring all the little lanes. There are lots of great beaches in Hastings too. This is the seafront after all, and it's great to spend some time on the beach. From Rockinore Beach in the east to Hastings Beach in the west, there's no shortage of places to get onto the waterfront here. Hastings Beach has a pier on the west end. It's fun to walk out and take in the colorful beach huts, amusement park rides, cafes, restaurants, and the views of Hastings from the end. Hastings Castle is another fun place to explore. It was established by William the Conqueror in 1066. Originally wooden, it evolved to be a stone fortress of strategic importance. Today it's in ruins, but it's still nice to see, and you can imagine what it would have looked like in its heyday. Just in from the beaches, the waterfront in Hastings is fun to walk along. From the promenade in the west to the old town in the east, it's great to see everything from fish and chip shops to net huts and boats. One of the great things about the hills in Hastings is that there are great views over the town and the water. East Hill and West Hill both have funiculars that you can ride up to the top for spectacular views over the waterfront. In addition to all the outdoor highlights, Hastings has some great museums. From the Hastings Contemporary Art Gallery to the Fisherman's Museum, there are lots of different places you can get into culture and history in Hastings. At the end of the day, getting home from Hastings is as easy as getting there. There are lots of great views out the windows of the train, so make sure to take them in as you go. I hope you've enjoyed this day trip to Hastings. It's a really fun place to spend a day out in England, and it's a nice place to be on the seaside. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy travels.